So we're now ready to have a go at our first normal distribution probability question. Let's say a machine cuts pieces of wood into planks with a mean length of 200 centimetres and with a standard deviation of 4 centimetres. What proportion of the planks will be under 195 centimetres? So the first thing that we want to do is to define the normal distribution. So x is normally distributed with a mean of 200 centimetres and a variance of 4 squared. Okay, because the standard deviation is 4, so the variance is 4 squared. And this is how we define the normal distribution that we're looking at. Now, beforehand, um, I showed you that we need to use the standardised normal distribution in order to solve these problems. So, although we're looking for the probability of x being less than 195, I need to get this into the format of using z, the standardised normal, so the z statistic, as it's often referred. So, to determine the value of z, we use the formula x minus x bar over the standard deviation. Now, x is the value that we're working with here, and x bar is the mean. So I can quite as easily just use the um, letter mu here, if you like. Change that to mu. So x minus mu over sigma. So, for the to find the z that we're currently using, z will be equal to 195, that's the x that I'm working with that I want to use. Take away the mean, 200, and divide by uh, sigma, which is 4. So what we're looking for... with a mean of 200, and that's 195, is this area under the curve. So if I calculate what z is here, so that's minus 5 quarters, so that's minus 1.25, then this is the same as the probability of z being less than minus 1.25. Because in the background, what's going on is that we reverted and used this to go from this bell curve now to the standardised normal bell curve to find that area. Because these areas are going to be the same. So, to find that... I can either use the probability tables, or I can use the TI-82 stats, okay? which I'm going to show you how to do now. Okay, so we're working with a normal distribution with a mean of 200 and a variance of 4 squared. And we want to find the probability that x is less than 195. And we've just found that the z statistic will be minus 1.25. So we want the probability that z is less than minus 1.25. Now. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to go onto our calculator and we want to go into VARS, the distributions. So second, then VARS into the distributions. And what we want to use is the normal CDF function here. Okay, We don't use the normal PDF, it's the normal CDF. So press enter for the normal CDF. And now, um, the way that we use the normal CDF is that we are looking from a very negative number up to uh, minus 1.25. Now, you could do a very big negative number, but for the standard normal, uh, because the mean is 0 and you've got standard deviations of value 1, anything that is less than minus 3... Um, will be insignificant and so 
we could just put in minus 10 as an example. So minus 10 up to minus 1.25 will collect all of the results that we really need. Of course, um, the graph goes to negative infinity, so minus 10 seems like a bit of a small number, but trust me, uh, between 0 and minus 10 will be as good as 50% of the data. So from minus 10 to minus 1.25, close the bracket and press enter, and we get a probability of 0 0.1056, so about 10.6%. Okay, and that is the probability that we are looking for here.